O God, let these who have had thy vision pressed in the petals of the all-seeing eye. Let these receive the touch of the Elohim that draweth nigh. I am Cyclopea, I meet the all-seeing eye of God within you, which has propelled you to this place. As you have drawn forth the vision of the city four square, so I meet that vision within you by the light of God that is beyond compare. I greet thee in the light of the eternal morn of the Divine Mother. I come in the vision of Virginia and of Mary in the heart immaculate. I come with the vision that is secure in God in the foundation of worlds. Do you not see that the inner blueprint of the all-seeing eye of God is a manifest reality now and forevermore that it always has been, that you do not need to decree for that vision to be created, but for that vision to be precipitated in the world of form. And thus the sealing in heaven and on earth of the great matrix of all that is to come forth in this age was already in the hand of the Elohim when the Lord God pronounced the fiat, let there be light. And in that initial release of light, was the vision and the inner blueprint for all that would be brought forth in the vast creation of worlds. I have come to speak to you, beloved keepers of the flame, concerning the action of the all-seeing eye of God in this age. You have seen the prophecy of the new order of the ages and the emblem of the all-seeing eye has been before your view the capstone of the pyramid of life. It is given to the anointed ones, the Christed ones, to bring forth this new order of the ages after the flame of Saint Germain and according to the promises of God. This flame, this blueprint, and this order have been ordained by God and sealed within the hearts of keepers of the flame even before you first took incarnation on Terra. We know that the all-seeing eye of God will precipitate the city four square, that it will be the manifest reality in the etheric plane, and that it will remain on the etheric plane intact, inviolate. The challenge then comes to the chilas of the ascended masters to have the courage to invoke the city four square with all of its inner God design into the mental and the feeling worlds and into the quadrant of mater, the physical plane. Within your causal body there is the full momentum of energy of the Elohim and of Almighty God to fulfill his purpose and his will. For every seed that God has created, he has placed within the seed the necessary blueprint and energy for the bringing forth of the full plant, adding to this the sun, the water, and the earth, and all the necessary ingredients that God has placed in the environment. It is of a certainty that the seed that is within itself the seed of Almighty God will cycle through the four planes of Mater. Knowing that our God is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent, knowing all of this then, we must place our attention at the line of precipitation, at the line of the Christ and the Mother and the Holy Spirit. And we must determine what are those forces of darkness that would impinge upon the alchemical precipitation of the city four square. What are those aspects of the not self and of unreality that must be cleared 
so that reality can be brought forth. This brings me to the exposure of the truth and the exposure of the lie, which will now be forthcoming at this conference and which we have scheduled for your celebration of Columbus Day on Monday. The exposure then of many aspects of the tactics of the Illuminati, of their origins and their current activities. I come to tell you that the conspiracy of the Illuminati is a reality from astral planes, from the fallen ones who have been organized with their concept of the new order of the ages since the moment of the great rebellion and the fall of the Luciferians. From that hour, the councils of the fallen ones determined to take over the earth to deprive man and woman of their rightful inheritance in taking dominion over the earth, and to set forth the counterfeit hierarchy and the counterfeit plan. And therefore I tell you that those who are a part of the Illuminati, they themselves conceive of themselves as the ones who are called and appointed to bring forth the new order of the ages. And just as you see in this sign and symbol of the great white brotherhood, the promise of the coming of the seventh ray of Saint Germain, so the fallen ones are as certain that the time is coming when their new order of worldwide power in the economy and in the governments of the nations as worldwide control will be a manifest reality. They envision absolute control of education, religion, government, the economy, and all affairs of the nations. And they have made considerable progress in this area in this century. They have taken strides and they have infiltrated every aspect of human endeavor and human organization, including the control of the media in all of its forms. Now I am Cyclopea, and I am concerned then for the protection of the vision of the city four square and the vision of your individual ascension. And I see that the vision and the plan in the heart of the great divine director for America and the earth must be precipitated simultaneously by keepers of the flame who would bring forth that manifest reality of all that is required in this octave for the international headquarters, for our Summit University and our Montessori International. Let it be disclosed then that there is, being released by the false hierarchy, the counterfeit vision for the counterfeit city four square. It is this counterfeit hierarchy and counterfeit vision that we must challenge, that you must challenge. You have given many invocations to me for the all-seeing eye of God to release the energies of the city four square. I tell you of a truth. All that stands between your call and its instantaneous precipitation is the clearing of the debris and the challenging of the momentums and the identity of the fallen ones who comprise that branch of the Illuminati, especially concerned with the perversion of vision. Now let us examine these perversions of vision. You will be hearing more of the exposure of subliminal programming through subliminal subduction in this conference. You will hear of the misuse of the sacred vision of mankind by those who are seized with the marketing of their products and who employ subliminal advertising techniques, projecting all manner of darkness of the fallen ones and their perversion of divine man, divine woman, and the divine man-child. 
This they have done in every form of art and advertising through the media, through the television, through the motion picture industry until mankind's four lower bodies are being saturated 24 hours a day with the imprints of the infamy of hell itself. I tell you the very demons and discarnates from the bottomless pit have come forth through these force fields to betray the Christ consciousness and mankind have been the unwitting, ignorant tools being the object of manipulation of those who sell their wares. But it does not stop with those who are advertising to make that profit which they use then to expend upon themselves. It continues with political mass psychology, psychopolitics, and the brainwashing of the fallen ones. And there are those who are tying into the media and into all of the forms of communication to project into the mass consciousness, the complete takeover of the planetary body by the international capitalist communist conspiracy. This conspiracy must be exposed and it will be exposed in detail before this conference has concluded. I am here to tell you that there is an absolute saturation of the mental and feeling bodies of mankind in this very hour by those fallen ones who have risen to positions of power and who are using the psychology techniques that have been understood and manipulated ever since the discoveries of Freud and Jung and others who have attempted to explain the unexplainable which is the subconscious mind of man. Let us remember that the mind of God is the mind of man and that all of the compartments of man's consciousness originate in God, including the subconscious mind. In fact, the subconscious mind is a vast storehouse of the wisdom of God and of knowledge of the universe and its vastness. All of this is also recorded in the subconscious of life waves on this planetary home. A record of all that has ever contacted your life stream is there, and I can assure you, by the light of the very stars themselves, of cosmic rays and emanations all the way back to the central sun, you have recorded within your subconscious an awareness of life and its laws throughout this cosmos. Is it any wonder then that this very plastic nature of the subconscious, so sensitive even to the farthest star and its emanations, should also be recording and be affected by the constant bombardments of emanations not only from the physical plane, from those who are in positions of power, but also from those who are residing on the astral plane and the mental plane? Understand then that mankind have been made the victims of all those who are the usurpers of the all-seeing eye of God. You can see what a powerful action the all-seeing eye has when all that is precipitated in mater must flow through this nexus of consciousness. For without the vision and without the image and without the blueprint, there cannot be alchemy. Understand then that those who practice black magic witchcraft, and who engage in the practices of the satanic cult, all must manipulate the energies of the all-seeing eye of God, and these are the energies of the Virgin, the Virgin Mother who sees the perfection of her children and the perfection of God and holds this immaculate vision simultaneously, and therefore through the vision of the Mother the ray of God is sent forth, passing through her third eye and being precipitated in her children. This is the supreme opportunity for those who would raise the mother ray in this age. It is to become the pure focal point for the release of the energies of the all-seeing eye of God. And so you see the great whoredom that is abroad in the land, for our definition of whoredom is the misuse of the third eye, and this is everywhere apparent. There is almost nowhere that you can rest your gaze except in nature and not be bombarded at some conscious levels by the attempts at programming of the fallen ones. 
All of this, of course, has been known to us for centuries as we have observed the manipulation of the fallen ones. Now I would speak to you of the saturation of the four lower bodies with these manipulations. In the hour of the rise of civilization to a peak of mechanical perfectionment on Lemuria and Atlantis, it came to pass that the manipulation of the subconscious of the people was so great that their four lower bodies were absolutely filled with the machinations and the manipulations of the fallen ones. That saturation of the earth body itself, even of the very grains of earth, was so intense that the cataclysm that resulted was not only for the destruction of the works of the fallen ones, but it was to give the souls and the vehicles of the bodies of mankind and of the earth body a rest and a necessary period of transmutation and requalification, whereby the four lower bodies of the earth and the people could be cleared of all that saturation of the fallen ones and their rebellious signs and formations and symbols that they have placed and implants in the people. And therefore the desert places on the earth and those places that are uninhabited, these also are in that period of rest. It is a cosmic rest and a cosmic interval. And during that period of rest, there is an intense fiery action by elemental life and by the angelic hosts for the cleansing of the very atoms and molecules of the physical earth as well as the mental, astral, and etheric planes. Now, after the clearing of the earth and the bringing forth once again of virgin land, conceived in the all-seeing eye of God in the mother, and held immaculate for sons and daughters of God to come forth once again to write a new page in creativity. Now, since the bringing forth then of the new land and the new world and the coming of Saint Germain and all those who are part of the mandala, there has been a race, a very intense race by the fallen ones on astral planes and those who have reincarnated from the days of Atlantis to once again saturate the four lower bodies of the earth and of the people with all of these tactics of programming, wedges of rebellion and witchcraft, so that helplessly mankind are the victims of these signs and symbols, and therefore, in the moment of crisis and in the moment of choosing to be or not to be, by the subconscious programming and manipulation of the energies of God within them, they automatically make the choices for the death cult, the success cult, and the sex cult. Understand then that we are concerned, we the seven mighty Elohim as well as the council of the royal Teton and the Darjeeling council, we are concerned at the levels of the saturation of consciousness not only in the American people but in all peoples on the planetary body. And most of all we are concerned for the little ones, the little children who come into embodiment and while they are yet in their mother's wombs they are bombarded with these subliminal thought forms that come through the media, come through the television, come on the waves of psychic manifestation that are also projected by the arch enemies of mankind. We are concerned that the little children, even before they arrive at an age of majority, are thereby so programmed against the true expression of free will and the election of the path of the ascension. We are also concerned at the pollution of the earth body and pollution that begins in the astral plane with this programming. I come before you and to tell you then that in this hour, the dangers to the people of earth are fast becoming as great as they were in the final hours of Atlantis, when the very bodies and minds and souls of the people cannot take any more. They simply cannot take any more and they are being driven to insanity and to all types of manifestations of crime because of this saturation of the four lower bodies. Beloved ones, I bring to you my heart and I pour out my heart to you. This is indeed the crisis of the age and this is the crux of the matter. The all-seeing eye in each one in each third eye center must be rescued and restored to that virgin consciousness. And I implore you to remove your children from before the television sets. You have no idea what is funneling into their subconscious. Have you not noticed that these precious children, even after a half hour or an hour of watching the television, are changed in their attitude? They become rebellious. 
they become rebellious even to the teachings of the ascended masters with which they are well familiar. We are concerned parents of the new age. We are concerned teachers. We are concerned with the arresting of the spiral of this false hierarchy, these imposters of Cyclopea and Virginia, and of all of the legions who are of the city four square. We are concerned, as you have heard also the words of beloved Magda, of those fallen ones who are the imposters of the Holy Spirit. The all-seeing eye of God is also an activity of the Holy Spirit, for the Holy Spirit is for the precipitation of the new Jerusalem, and all that becomes manifest in matter must come through the Holy Spirit. Even the very breath of life that is breathed into the nostrils of the tiny child and the lighting of the threefold flame this activity of the Holy Spirit is also a function of the fifth ray, the emerald ray of science, truth, mathematics, and precipitation. What can be done? I tell you that if it were not for Almighty God himself, even we would have our moments of despair. That is in the perspective of the relativity of the equation of time and space. But because he lives, and because he lives within you, we know that there is hope for earth. We come to you then with our program, and it is very specific. It is absolutely necessary that you make invocations to all of the Elohim and the archangels and the masters of the great white brotherhood for the arresting of the spirals of energy that is all energy misusing the action of the all-seeing eye of God, for the binding of those members of the false hierarchy whose time for judgment has come, and for the clearing of the way for the crystallization of the God flame in the city four square. You must use your calls to Astraea, your calls for the reversing of the tide, and all that you have been taught as the techniques of the mother for the specific concentrated effort of clearing all of this misuse that has been going on now far too long. We do not wish to see this planetary home overtaken by the fallen ones, but I tell you, if it is taken over, and if there ensues a cataclysm as there was in the days of Atlantis, it will be for this one reason— because of the perversion of the all-seeing eye of God and the failure of mankind to check that perversion and to demand the stopping of the subliminal programming in the advertisements for alcohol, cigarettes, and all manner of merchandising that has been placed abroad in this land. Precious ones, your calls must be forthcoming immediately. At the conclusion of this dictation, I desire that you shall give calls for the all-seeing eye of God to reverse the tide, for there is such a momentum of misuse of this eye that it is reaching the point of the precipitation of that new order of the ages that is not of God, but that is held in the dark eye of the Illuminati. And all of this simply because mankind have not understood that with the simple raising of their hands and the use of the energies of the heart and the head and the hand, the reversing of the tide can take place. And all of that darkness, I tell you, every erg of that energy can be turned back again and reversed and be upon those fallen ones who sent it forth. And immediately then, by the reversing of that tide, you will be confirming the judgment and these fallen ones will be call to judgment and their karma and their energy will be upon their own heads and upon their own godless creation. Remember the action of your own beloved Saint Clair who by holding the sacred sign of the Eucharist was able to turn back the armies of the Saracens from attacking the city. It was their own hatred and their own selfishness that was turned upon them. One life stream holding against that hatred can reverse the tide, and this has been done also through the rosary for the protection of Rome and the Holy City and the Vatican, and these miracles have been wrought again and again by the faithful of the Church. 
Do you not see that in your numbers, all of you combining forces together, have within you the momentum and the majority of God to check the downward spiral of civilization, even if it be already an oncoming avalanche on the side of the mountain of darkness and deceit of the fallen ones? I tell you, God has the power to reverse that avalanche and to make it go uphill all the way back where it came from. Do you believe this? Yes! Moses did part the Red Sea and the miracles that have been wrought even in your midst, in your very souls and bodies are testimony to the light of God that never fails. I say listen well then and be attentive to the words of the mother that you will have brought to your attention on Monday for there is a specific plan and all of you need to be concerned with every aspect of the presentation for we are down to the point of specifics where calls in general are not enough but the specific call for the specific action is required, and in order to know the requirement of the specific action, beloved keepers of the flame, you must be educated. You must learn to see behind the scenes. You must know what is taking place in your government, in your economy, and you must know a bit of history and understand the trends that have been building for several hundred years, even to the destruction of America from its very inception. I appeal to you then, as the culmination and as the first fruits of the new Jerusalem, I appeal to you as the hope of every patriot and every saint who has walked this soil, all who have gone before and who have lived to enshrine freedom and to stand for God and thereby often to lose their physical lives for the stand they have taken. I appeal to you and I say, you are the hope of hundreds and thousands of souls who have been removed from the screen of life through the manipulations of the Illuminati. These are many of the saints who are robed in white, who stand in the etheric plane, who are watching with you and who say to the Lord Christ, How long, O Lord? How long, O Lord? These are your brothers and sisters. Some of them will be reincarnating for the thrust of the new age and to take the torch that you will also one day pass. But in this hour, you are carrying the torch and you dare not let that torch fall to the ground. I say to you, you are the hope of all who have ever lived for the light of the cosmic virgin on earth. Let us then be intelligent active in the service of our God. Let us look for the plots of the fallen ones and let us decree together specifically for the binding of the fallen ones and the reversing of the tide of every aspect of their media manipulation and their programming of the people. Above all, I ask you to make calls for the clearing of the pollution of the subconscious as well as for the clearing of the pollution, even of the astral bodies and of the mental plane. The physical plane must be cleared. The physical plane must be cleared, for it is a burden upon the body of the mother and her children. But I tell you all must be cleared at once. Let calls be given then, that those who are being saturated by the fallen ones be cleared, be receptive. And when you prepare to knock on the door, know that you are knocking on the door of the heart of Christ. That every door to every household in America is a symbol of the door to the Christ consciousness. Will you make the call then that as you pass through that door, Christ will open the door to the hearts and the action of the violet flame will consume the debris that would impinge upon the release of the vision of the city four square in every soul. I have given you a formula and an understanding of the challenge of the coming revolution. Saint Germain has spoken to you and you have heard that selfishness itself is the cause of all pollution of the astral plane. As you well know, 
It is that action of selfishness, self-love, self-infatuation, and the preservation of the lesser self that is the conglomerate of density that makes the impasse over the all-seeing eye of God chakra. If then you lack the vision, you must know that automatically you must surrender. You must surrender substance. You must surrender selfishness. And proportionately as you surrender, you will have the vision and the power of the vision of the all-seeing eye to challenge all of its misuses. The key to victory then by vision is the absolute sacrifice of the lesser self and the surrender of all lesser causes for the one great cause of freedom, the cause which the great white brotherhood has espoused, the freedom of every living soul. I commend you into the keeping of the flame of Christ. I commend you to your own heart's deliberation upon my words, and I commend you to the all power of the science of the spoken word to reverse the tide of the manipulators. I thank you, keepers of the flame. I know that I can count on you, and for this, I thank you. I am humbly grateful, and I bow before the light of the Christ within you that is already a manifest reality. God be with you. God be with us all.